You both worked in Hollywood for a very long time. And I'm curious, if someone has never seen anything that you've done before, what is the first thing you'd like them watching and why? Oh, you're looking at me? (laughs) (laughs) Um, You know, I think I would just like them to smile. That's all. When you look at me, I want you to smile. That that's, you know, because I haven't done any, uh, you know, I haven't done RoboCop, because I would imagine you don't want that to happen then. But for me, I would like them to go, oh, I know her, and smile. That's what I would like. Um, well, Deborah Joe mentioned RoboCop, which of course is, uh, did an awful lot for me and was terrific fun to do it. Um, but I would say I would like them to see uh, Patriot on Amazon, which I did a couple of Oh, was of that the there. question? Wasn't that the question? What would you yeah. like people to see if they're not familiar with your background? Yeah. Oh, I did not know that. I, I misinterpreted the question. Oh. But you did a good job. Oh. I thought your answer, I thought your answer was good. Oh, yeah. okay. See? Yeah. So uh, I've seen all, all 10 episodes of that 90s show. I'm sure it's going to be a hit. Oh, thank uh, you. But the series wouldn't work without the two of you. You're, you're instrumental in, in connecting the two series. And I'm curious, what was it like behind the scenes when they first approached you to do this? You know, because it, you guys are really important for the success of this show. And I'm curious, how much were they figuring out what happens if you guys don't want to do it? You know, how is this show going to get made? I don't think they would have made it. Uh, not Certainly not in this uh, format. I mean, I guess they could have uh, done... Uh, <clears throat> well, no, they couldn't because Topher yeah. had another show. But... You know, I, 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 I was told they wouldn't have done it. Well, they certainly wouldn't have done it this way. I am so curious. What was it like? Because uh, making this series, whole new cast, all. Um, what was it like making this one versus the original, you know, that 70s show? Because also that one was, I believe, 20 something episodes a season. And this was, you know, 10. Well, for me, the difference, I already knew the character. So in 70s show, I was figuring out the, we were all kind of figuring out our characters. But going into this, I already knew Kitty. I, I, I knew who Kitty was. So I felt like I had a leg up, you know, and, and with less episodes, that was very valuable because I didn't have to do this, you know, waste four episodes doing investigating as to who she was. It was there from the beginning. That's my answer. What's yours? That was a good answer. That was a really good answer. Uh, what was the question again? Oh Who God. knows? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I think that, uh, yes, before we were doing uh, 25 episodes a season, we're only doing 10 this time. Um, but that, you know, that, that was good, especially, I think, at the beginning, you know. Uh, if we were trying to do 25 episodes, I think it would have kind of run us all into the ground. But... Um, I think the fact that the writers, um, in particular the creators of the show, uh, Bonnie and Terry uh, Turner and uh, and Greg Mettler, bo- all three of whom had worked on the previous show, um, they they knew where to go. They are they also had a leg up as opposed to having to develop all these things as it went along. If you go back and look at the beginning of the '70s show to see how much we changed, how much. The show changed uh, in uh, in the time that it was on the air. Here, they already knew what was going to work. You know, they already knew that uh, dumbass is going to work. You know, and they knew that that Deborah Joe was going to be able to laugh. And you know, they had all these things going right from the beginning. Uh, speaking of dumbass, how often in real life do people want you to to call them a dumbass? Uh, d- uh, amazingly, a lot. You know. Uh, <laughs> When I, it's just, it's, it's amazing to me um, that they, they, you know, the guys, I don't, maybe one woman asked me to call her a dumbass, but pretty much it's guys and they come up and they go, hey man, can you call me a dumbass? And what I used to say was, anybody who wants to be called a dumbass is a dumbass. And then I'd call them a dumbass and they'd be happy. So, you know. 
But I don't know uh, why. I have no idea what that comes from. I think I think they feel that it kind of pulls them in and give it makes them a little tiny bit a part of the show. I agree. Um, I believe this is the first time for both of you that you've been given an executive producer credit um, on a show. I could be wrong. Um, what does it mean for both of you to actually get credited as a producer? Well, you want to take this? Go ahead. Um, I think that this first season, it it really we really didn't uh, we didn't really have time to make use of that that uh, you know we were all everybody is so busy developing the show that I think that for us to start saying hey you know we think that uh, you know would have just kind of made everything very difficult. So we were also dealing. Uh you know, a big difference from 70s show was dealing with COVID in the 90s show. And there were a lot of, you know, there was just a lot of pulling together with that and a lot of figuring out with that. So that, that took a lot of time, you know, yeah. it was, there was a lot of navigating, you know, with 90s show. Um, and I think we all just, everybody just kind of pitched in and did what they could do. So I'm not really exactly sure about the executive producer yet, but we will be finding out, yes. hopefully. It's a good thing to add to the uh, IMDB profile. Right. Um, on that note, I, got, I have to wrap. I'm just going to say congrats. I really do hope the show is a big hit. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Thanks. Great fun talking to you. Thanks.